like Scientology, when you reach a certain level of the Masons, say the 17th level, for example, you are ready for the next big season. You are ready for the next big in the Book of Lies, Napoleon provided a helpful commentary telling you what rank in Freemasonry you've got to get to in order to understand this chapter. And if you can't get it out of the mainline Freemasonry, what rank in the Auto Temple Orientis you have to go to to get the secret meaning of this chapter. Or you can just meditate on it until you get the secret meaning yourself. Their secret is that Lucifer is really the god of light. The television has an immense power over American Jews. The magic of the all-powerful TV screen is run by evil men who glorify Satan. The Masons and Scientology are just a front for satanic witchcraft. Both of these groups employ the use of the Illuminati, okay, or the all-seeing eye. For years I meditated on the chapter that says Pederapo. I remember that's always magical name. Pederapo, what an eye. What an eye, not shall know. What name, not knowing. The original. Nobody knows what eye Alice McCauley was. Although it has something to do with the eye on the pyramid and the whole Masonic symbolism of illumination and the vision of the sky god as the wind riding the wings and its stars and its face. So what is the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati? It is a device that is put in the top prism of the pyramid to deflect any meteor or asteroid uh, coming to Earth and is to prevent mass extinction as what happened in the case of the dinosaurs. What about the eye of the fire? It's kind of inconspicuous. I, mean, I just uh, I want to point out how often the eye of the fire angle is there. It's, it pops up frequently, and this, of course, is the uh, symbol of the Illuminati, the alleged secret society that controls the whole world, according to a lot of occult uh, theories. And it's, you'll find it on the back of your dollar pill, too. Both the Mason and the Scientologists are deep and dark knowledge. And both groups are operating on a separate version of the same truth, and they would be killed to keep this truth a secret. The secret is that man came from an extraterrestrial or a spaceman, and that all humans on Earth, except for the African Negro, were genetically engineered by God from lions, bears, eagles, and dogs. The Negro actually did the law of uh, the magicians, uh, the magic cults of the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th century in the Middle East were fascinating. The only modern work that has anything to do with them is by the Wild and Spots. It's a fascinating work in itself. That's work written by Alastair Crowley, the late Alastair Crowley. And uh, he, you know, he did himself a splendid piece of aesthetics built around those magic cults. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, reading to get a hold of a copy of a book, quite rare, but it can be obtained. The Master Therion, T-H-E-R-I-O-N, The Master Therion by Alastair Crowley. He signs himself The Beast, Mark of the Beast, 666. Holy commentary on that person is particularly helpful, particularly representative of the hermetic style and was in the best alchemical three pieces of the best prosecution works of the late Renaissance. Uh, holy commentary is, this chapter contains a truth unsuited for the grade of any reader of this book. Uh, he doesn't tell you what grade to seek for to get enlightenment. Whatever grade you're at, it's not suitable for you to understand that truth. But later on, about uh, 18 chapters later, there's another verse about an eye, and Foley says, all the eye symbols in this book can be understood by consulting Zebra 777. So, uh, if you can find a copy of Foley's Libra 777, which is a chart representing everything in the universe in terms of the Kabbalistic tree of life, just like Joyce and Ulysses represented everything in the universe by an incident on one day in Dublin, you begin to get the hang of the hologramic view of reality. The one day in Dublin can represent all of human life. The Hebrew alphabet can represent all human knowledge.
everything is a hologram that contains uh, which every part contains the whole. Going through Libra 77 and finding the whole 777 and finding the whole universe summarized into the tree of life. You again you eventually find all the Egyptian gods are on the tree of life. And not only that, but all the parts of the Egyptian gods' bodies are on the tree of life. So, and you'll eventually find that the eye of Horus, which is the origin of the eye on the triangle, the eye of Horus has the anatomical meaning of the anus. The method of developing this additional sense is called Kabbalah. Kabbalah is not religion, it's not mysticism or magic. It's the user's manual for reality. It's a map of our sensations and feelings. It explains how our inner and outer worlds are constructed and why. It's a science so fundamental that it can only be called wisdom. Kabbalah has been passed down through an unbroken chain from teacher to student over thousands of years kept hidden until the time when humanity would reach the need, the stage in its development, where it could properly understand and use it. That time is now. The Masons and Scientologists control the TV, news networks, banks, insurance companies, and most Democrat Republican politics, the CIA, the FBI, and the DEA, and even the United States Army. Now it is time for the rest of us to rise up against this evil. So now we understand Alistair Coley was an asshole. And that was unsuitable and that was unsuitable for the grade of any reader of the book. So if any reader of a mystical teacher finds out that the teacher is an asshole, uh, they no longer believe in the teacher anymore. So all mystical teachers have to conceal that fact about themselves. I never met a great man, a uh, master who wasn't an asshole. And they spent most of their time hiding it. Foley spent most of his time revealing it and pretending to hide it. Foley was a system of magic. It's a system of fucking with your brain until you pop it away from the fossil and you get out of your infinite reality. I don't know until you're fooling with your energy as well.